Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com, and today I'm going to show you one thing you can do to gain infinite amounts of control over your sounds. Now before we jump in, make sure you click that like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the happenings here at Live Keyboardist. I want you to be plugged in and in the know so you don't miss anything that might step up your live keyboard player game. All right, so let's take a look inside Ableton. So right now I've got my sound set up to be turned on and off. And this type of setup is called a dynamic patch list, which I'll link a video that explains the type of patch lists above. But uh, I'm turning my sounds on and off here and I've got nine sounds, which means that I can only control eight of them at a time, and these can kind of be broken down into categories, because as you see, I've got two different piano sounds, I've got some pads, and I've got some leads. So rather than try and control all of these sounds individually, we need to make it a little bit simpler. So here's the one thing you can do to get more control over your sounds. It's really quick, check out how this works. I'm gonna create an audio track, and I'm gonna rename this audio track piano. And make sure you set this to monitor in so that it can receive sound. Now we're going to take our piano sounds here and you can select both of them and go audio to pianos. Now when I turn a piano sound on, rather than come out of the channel strip that the piano is already on, it's coming out of this channel strip, which means I could easily go in here and map one of my faders to this channel strip so that I have control of the overall volume of these patches in the same place no matter which patch I am using. So I don't need to remember which piano is on which fader, I just know all of my pianos are on this fader. We could take this a step further by adding an audio effects rack to that channel strip so that we can control how these things sound a little bit more. For example, I could add some reverb. To create a bit more dreamy sound. Or I could add some ping pong delay. And I know that anytime I'm playing a piano sound, I have access to this effect. Then I could easily come in here and just choose how I want to control these things so that every time I want access to them, they are right at my fingertips. Now the same thing can be done with your pads and your lead sounds, just by bussing them over to another channel strip and controlling them all there. This is an extremely powerful way to take control of your live keyboard set and play more expressively. Be sure you click that like button, subscribe to stay up to date with everything that is happening, and I will see you next week.